I can't wait to continue. Um, so, a little recap from last night's stream. Uh, I had just finished this map. So, this um, this marketplace, uh, I, I thought, I think that's the name. Uh, place uh, is um, where we were uh, fighting yesterday. So, we kind of took the whole stream on to opening pretty much all of it. Because it was a very big map. Uh, now we have some clues to what to do next. A couple of new locations and maybe some timed stuff. Who knows? Um, all I know now is that um, I'm going to be going to the tavern to rest so I don't get corruption. And then we're going to keep going on other other places we have to, to do quests at. Because we have a bunch of quests to do and I'm not really sure at uh, precisely how much we have left of Act 1. We also need to level. Yeah, we are very low on health and we need to level. So we have a bunch, a bunch to do before we actually start with more fighting. All right. I need to stop humming. I need to remember um, not to be singing, not to be humming. It's just one thing I do quite often. And it's, it might get me to, like, DC, DMCA'd. But it just, the music is just so great. Hmm. Okay. Right, so we have just finished everything. Oh my god, look at our health. And we have, like, diseases. Gosh, we have so much. Full night's rest. Everything is pretty much... I mean, although it is, does say permanent, um, it also claims that to cure, uh, I not only need to have consecutive saves, which may have, may have already been done, Charisma based, especially on her. She would never fail a charisma base. So maybe this is just a visual bug. Not super sure. Um, so a couple of things we have to do is uh, when leaving, get all of this loot. Very important for me. Um, so let's do that. Let's get all of this loot. Let's um, let's leave this. Wait. Ooh. Wait, where was it? Here. Nice. Another jade. Which is even more impressive. Okay, let's exit. Let's collect everything. We're gonna be very encumbered by this. Extremely encumbered by this, but it's okay. It's fine. All we have to do is uh, reach out uh, the defender's heart first. We are severely encumbered. And then I'm gonna go down again. Uh, I'm gonna go down again. I wanna do the library first because it does give me a feel. Um, uh, oh no, there's someone on the road? Oh my god, no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, I don't like this. I am super overloaded. Exiting to global map is global map is oof. Okay, so wait. No, no, no. Uh, drop everything. Drop everything. We'll get it when we are done. Drop, drop everything, drop everything. We're, we are we need to go back to at least medium. We have no health whatsoever. I hope this is not one of those encounters because I'm I don't want to waste pots just because. So I'm gonna save and see what this this encounter is all about. Nenio, who are you? We 
wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. Uh-oh. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, girl. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Uh, where are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. <laughs> I am your sister in sin. A devotee to I don't Lord think Bath this is gonna go well. So I don't so think that's the way. <laughs> devotee of Love Bathman, Stark will. It, it, that's... She looks like one mm. of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. Shrug. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, I want to see where this so is going. Us to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. <laughs> Please be so kind as to undertake a little test for your competence in our wicked cause. <laughs> I love how how uh, he speaks. Is it he, she, they? I like her. She's a nice dude lost. Oh, okay. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? Mm, here you go. We will not answer to you. Why not? Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Oh God. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his I... enemies with his horns. I can't believe I passed a lore religion, which means I they're gonna be mad at me. Um, but I'm gonna use it. More XP, right? That is correct. But still, girl. No prompting, please. I'm sorry, I wanted the XP. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. <laughs> I would never have expected the followers of the Great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Uh-oh. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Thank you so much. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. I have no idea. Yep. And a cow. Oh my god, I passed it again. I think this is scripted. I'm gonna go for it again. She's gonna hate me, but I have to. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. Oh, Jack would enjoy that. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about not scripted, who Baphomet by the way. really oh, is. Oh, that's just nice. Any in-depth <laughs> knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it, she's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cult. Lol. And my mother used to Just tell me to become a clown. Wow, really? And I actually got that? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Um, stay silent. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. <laughs> Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. Oh my god, they're actually insecure. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? Really? B A F A. <laughs> oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun. But instead, there are all these questions. Yeah, I'm questions are not fun. I'm going back to my home village. Back to my mother. Back to my mother. Wait, what? Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and oh, tie her up! No, not a fight. No, 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 not a fight. I'm not in conditions to fight, guys. The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. Each other? They're gonna try to hit you? Of course. Of course, it's up to me. Oh, 
Okay, when do you stay on the archer? Where are you going? Help me! What are you doing? Where are you going? You're gonna watch? It's outrageous. You guys go there. Oh no! Why did you have to take all of this huge turn away? God. She actually managed to attack of opportunity me because of that. Uh oh. The absence of an answer is it. Wait. Is an answer too? What? what, what? The stranger! I'm the answer, but what's the question? Statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, girl? Are you ready to oh, answer no. some questions for the good of science? So, checks. Let's proceed with the experiment. Then, my first fight. question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? Oh no! Oh, she's gonna hate me. I succeeded. What? What? Wait, what's the C of this? A thirteen the C. Wow, I am proud of myself. You're absolutely convinced that the correct answer is red and white. Okay. This answer is correct. It is comforting. Not to even gonna try anything else. The person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabras today. Is, do you like me more? Let's proceed. Oh. But Era didn't take part in any crusade before he died. Uh. uh... Who the hell is Arden? Uh, Inner Sea... Uh, Galarian, beginning of... Well, what? Why don't they say this in the toll tip? Oh my god, I succeeded again. I rolled an 18? Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, you know for sure that Arden died long before the war wound opened and the first crusade began. What does that mean? I don't remember the question. <laughs> it's right up here. Um, did Aaron take part in any crusades before he died? Uh, no, he didn't. Your answer is correct. Aaron's death dates to 4606, and that is that? precisely the year when the world wound was opened. The first crusade started back in 4622. As if Jubilos did anything when you tried to rescue the ponies in the water. Because that would be cheating. No, he wouldn't. I had low low health, okay? Your knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. Oh my no. final question oh is, my god. What is the title that a real Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border inquisitor of the shapeless abyss? Uh Lord of the Labyrinth? Architect of the World Wound. See? I almost got that. <laughs> I can't believe I actually s I rolled a 20? Dude! Dude! I rolled a 20! Yeah! Oh my god! I actually got all of the checks. Um... Okay. Architect of the World Wound. That's correct! Most excellent! You successfully answered all my questions! Splendid! Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This... Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. Does that mean you like me now? It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. Yes. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, <laughs> I should say. I also know several spells. <laughs> I also know several spells. Well, that, that one is useful. Uh, now, can you finally tell me what you were getting with at all those questions? It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. <laughs> and I must admit that you passed the test with flying colors. Nice. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, limited and some of them can be considered educated. Excuse me? See that I was correct. It, it... Are you trying to say that I am mediocre? Yes. Girl! What? This 
is... I have a name, you know. I apologize for an injury to your ego. Uh -huh. But your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of no, the No, it isn't. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To I doubt it. unnecessary confusion, I prefer to not know it at all. She has no sense at all, right? Like, uh, great intelligence though, but zero common sense. I could just kill her right here, like those other dudes over there. Uh, okay, come with me. Do you wish to become my follower? <laughs> to accompany me on my expeditions? Once world again, world? no to sense. To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. Where is my chaotic option? Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Yes, if we if we join forces, you have to follow my instructions during the expeditions. Huh? What? Oh, yes, the dangers and these battles. Of course, I will follow your orders. Mm -hmm. I place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. Oh, you. Okay. Excellent. You're Come hyped. on. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. <laughs> Twenty-seven crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw I the wonder why. appeal of my offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. Uh... Do I have to leave someone behind? Really? Okay, easy. Very easy. Is she gonna die if I leave her behind? Please? Yes, no, maybe? I mean, I know I reached the party cap, but I mean... It, it works just like the other games, but all I'm saying is I'm not gonna lose her because I left her behind right here, right? Doesn't feel like Yeah, no, I didn't leave anything behind. Good. Let's get everything again. And keep going. Please no, please just Okay, okay. Good. Ah. I wanted to leave Camellia behind. I don't care about her. Gosh. She's not a nice person. I mean, I'm not a nice person either, but at least I have morals. I have a set of rules. I can actually do good. Eventually. But I'm... Um, I'm, I'm having doubts... Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. What's happening? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what's happening? No. Let me sell stuff. Oh, shoot. Defendant's heart greets you with an unexpected liveness. Beyond the walls of the tavern, the once bust bustling and festive city lies in ruins. But somehow none of that can be felt within these walls. The people in the room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. It doesn't look like typical tavern reverie, but nor is the grim vigilance of recent days. Sila waves at you. She is sitting at the table with the trio you met previously, the knight, the half-elf, the red-headed halfling. Aegon, come! Let me properly introduce you to Elan, Janna and Curl, the fearless warriors of the League of the Inspiring Card. It was me who convinced Irabeth to use that what John and Curl and Elan found for a little party. If you look out the window, you might think the end times have come and the abyss has devoured us all. I thought some simple pleasures, good food and good company, could help keep the gloom at bay. Have I ever turned down merrymaking in good company? That's razor mugs, my friends. 
Wait, I'm not ready for another toast yet. It's not even it's not every day that I drink with paladins, knights, and sword lords. Hey. Are we just going to sit here with grim faces? I say we get to know each other a little better. So we have better reasons to toast. Okay, tell me about you and your order, Elin. Oh my god. Sit down, because there's lots of reading to come. As stories go, it's not very entertaining. I was born far to the south, in Andorran. I lost my parents early. Led the life of a simple mercenary, but often questioned the path I had chosen. I'm proud of my sword skills, I enjoy training in drills, and I'm not afraid of battle. But risking my life for coin? It takes a special mindset to choose that lot with no regrets. You have to want to risk your blood, you know. I saw too many of my friends die, and I wondered if it was worth it. So, in the end, I decided to choose another path. For now, if I'm going to lay down my life, at least it will be for a good cause. That's how I ended up in Mendev and became a squire for the Houndhearts. Houndhearts, that's such a hard word to pronounce. It's a small order. By tradition, it never has more than 12 members, and a new member is only knighted after one of the elders dies. We patrol the lands along the Wardstone line and provide aid to travelers and settlers. Unfortunately, death is a common amongst the Hound Hearts. I became a full knight two years ago after laying my mentor to rest. But I'm content with my choice. My place is among the Crusaders. Not many rules as you have a homicide in your party. Well, that, there's that. Hey, Sakarina, how you doing? Have you been serving in the Eagle Watch for long, Jenna? I signed up four days before the demon attack. Am I lucky or what? I'm an apprentice of famous fencing master from Mivan, and I learned a thing or two from him, believe me. I soon got bored of fighting off bandits and getting involved in the petty squabbles of bickering river kingdoms. I wanted a proper challenge, and you can't find a better place than Mendev. And what do you know? The moment I arrived, the demonic invasion began! My father would say that's no accident. Fate brought me here. What about you, Carl? How did you end up amongst the condemned? I just did what everyone else was doing. I grew up in the slums, where everyone stole a little, or maybe smuggled, or guarded stashes, so... But I never killed anybody, and I never did anything really bad. I got caught stealing, and when they made me choose between prison and the condemned, well, of course I didn't want to go to prison. I'm not that good of a fighter, but as Norgber is my witness, a thief can also be useful in a war against demons. Isn't Norgber um, a really bad deity? <laughs> I've always been a good scout. I can sneak under the nose of any monster. But I don't know where my friends are now. We got separated when the demons rampaged through the city. Jenna, friend. Whoever you see, whoever you were in the past, we're your, our friend now. You're our friend now, oh my god. And a crusader. Your skills will be useful to us, you see. So, how do all of you guys know Sila? I met my noble sister on the road to Canabras. I was returning from the south from my fiancé, and I was happy to be in the company of a paladin of Yomede. We said our farewells in the city gates, and I went north, along the road to Dresden, to my orders camp. Demons attacked us there and at the same time they struck Canabris, but we managed to fight them off. We hurried to the city's aid and joined forces with the Eagle Watch. All my fellow hound hearts were wounded during the battle on the streets. I'm the last knight of my order who can still fight. It's so good to see Sila again. Every loyal heart counts these days. I met Sila in a tavern in Canabris. Before the attack, of course. She was one of the few who would sit at the table with the condemned. Knights usually don't even look at us, but Scylla is different. I knew it the moment I saw her. That's what made me notice Scylla too. So I sat down to talk to her. I never understood why everyone treated the condemned so horribly, and I still don't. Our curl is a great lad. So after that night, Scylla and I went round the taverns together every day. Mendev is an amazing place. People from all over the world come here for glory, redemption, or to help those in trouble. And they always find each other. 
this might be the best place in the world to find like-minded people and friends. That was a toast, in case you didn't notice. Sila, did you call me over just because, or is something the matter? I didn't just want to talk about today's celebration. You see, Elan is in trouble. In trouble. I want to help him, and I don't know anyone else in the city I can turn to. His fellow knights were all wounded in battle. Bad idea, sister. I told you, I don't want to bother anyone else with my problems. I need to handle them on my own. Oh, come on. Hiding your sadness from your friends is no way to live. Girl is right. She helped me find you. Without her help, I'd still be looking for all of for you all over Canabras. So, come on, stop being so stubborn. Well, I can say I'm not interested. Wow. Tell me more. In all truth, I do not wish to impose. My problems are just minor troubles. A paladin of Yomede and her friends certainly have more important things to do, especially now Canabras has been overrun with demons. If I've learned anything in life, it's that there's nothing minor about good and evil. Take the three of you, for example. It seems like all you did was save one card from some lesser demons. But look how many people are happy now. That feat will never be sung in in the so of, of in songs, but who knows? Maybe thanks to this one joyous, joyous hour of peace and rest, the defenders of Canabris will find the strength to protect the city. I hope so. I talk too much, don't I? Well, Sir Elan, I want to help you, and my reputation as a holy warrior of Yomede won't suffer if it's more of a minor adventure than a glorious feat. All right, all right, I'll explain. The life of a crusader has given me more than just a purpose and a chance to serve a righteous cause. When I abandoned the life of a mercenary and came to Mendev, I gained something else I never expected. It's here that I met, may all the ladies here forgive me, the finest girl in the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a bugler, bungler like me. But I'm not about to let this miracle go. Not even the demon lord Descari and all his demon army can stand in my way. Luckily, my beloved is now safely away from Canabris. For half a year, I've been greeting up my courage to propose to her. Well, even order a ring from Derek Sunhammer, the best jeweler in Mendev. Independent knightly orders give live mostly, mostly off donations. And I'm not what you would call rich, but I so want to make Yana happy. Oh, it took me three months to find a jewel the same shade as her eyes. And twice that long to scrape together enough money. Master Derek's work has, was worth it. But I lost the ring during the demon attack, and I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. The ring is most likely still in Houndheart's camp outside the city. Elan and his friends didn't have time to pack up their camp. First, the demons ambushed them, and then they rushed off to help Canabris. I think we should at least go there and check. Not right now, of course, but once the situation in the city is under control. What could we run into at this camp? My friend Edline killed two large demons attacking the camp, then rode straight to the city without spending any more time clearing up the rest of their band. It was only a few imps, but... They might still be at the camp. Of course, this was a while ago. Our camp was attacked at the same time as the Ward Stone in their main square, and I haven't been back there since. Okay, I'll help. Thanks for agreeing to help. Elin is a good man and a true knight, and I think the world should repay those who are so devoted to doing good. Let's help him, so he can propose to his beloved the way he wanted. Sila, I hope you can convince Irabath to let me go with you when you do this. I don't want to be parted from my friends. Of course, if the leagues of the inspiring card has come together in this dark hour, we must continue onward together. Yay. You. Wherever my legs carry me. So, let's sell stuff. Oop. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need, no need, no need. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep you. Yeah, and you're out. And you're out. Nope, nope, nope. 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 